Good afternoon, everybody. I am here with Ariel Dickowitz of La Serena Cigars. She is the brand manager, and she's been kind enough to have a few minutes with uh, us to talk a little about her brand and the cigars she's doing. We're actually coming to you from a mobile cigar round and retail shop here um, sponsored by Event Cigars, and we're also outside of the Outland Cigar Store where Ariel's here to do an event tonight. Thank you very much for coming, and thank you very much for uh, giving us a few moments. My name's Will Cooper. I am the uh, editor of Cigar Coop. I'm joined by Stace Berkland. Hey guys, how you doing? And we're going to have a little conversation, learn a little about Ariel, her brand, and a whole lot more. So first of all, Ariel, welcome. Thank you for having me. This is really cool. Yeah. Uh, we're excited to have you here in Charlotte, uh, Outland Valentine location. Uh, this is your first trip to North Carolina? Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, what we wanted to do before we jump into the sticks, because it's all about the sticks, uh, I wanted a little bit of background about your family history and just who Ariel was before you became the brand ambassador and then was promoted to brand manager for La Serena. So would you just tell me a little bit about who Ariel was before you hit the cigar industry? What were you like growing up as a kid? Um, oh goodness, as a kid. I think I was kind of wild and crazy then too. Okay. Um, loved theater. I was a theater major in undergrad. Okay. I still love, you know, to do that on the side, acting and stuff. Okay. Um, I'm always going to a Broadway show. You know, I tweet my, my shows, my grandma, my mom, I just love the shows. Nice. And my dad, too. On the now. Um, then I studied health and behavioral science and special education for deaf and hard of hearing. Okay. Got my master's in that. And that's kind of, that's me. Okay. That so, so that was like college age and stuff, so going back, uh, was your father, did he have the cigar store when you were a young child? Or when did that come about and how did you transition from where you are now, you know, where you were as a child to where you were? My dad bought into the cigar shop maybe six, seven years ago. Okay. He was in construction with his family. Um, cigars were always in our life because my grandfather smoked, my uncle smoked. Right. So I was always around them. I always loved them. Nice. But it was, you know, a totally different experience when my dad bought into um, Tobacco Plaza. It was so nice having him, you know, work right around the corner. Right. I would go sit, hang out with him, watch the Yankee games, bring him dinner. I, I ended up just loving, you know, being around the cigar atmosphere. I didn't even, I didn't start smoking yet, not at this point. I just enjoyed kind of the smell and like the people. Um, that's where I met Renee Castaneda, who at the time was the New York sales rep. Okay. And he hired me. He said, oh, you don't mind cigar smoke? Come work for us. You'll be a cigar model. You'll hand out you know, cigars at events and stuff. And I was like, oh, that sounds like so much fun, you know? This is when I was in college, this is when I was an undergrad. Okay. And I did it. 30 minutes into my first event, I called him in to the humidor. I was like, can you teach me about the cigars? Like, I want to be able to talk to people about it. And that was kind of it. It was the first time I really had asked questions about the cigars. I fell in love with it. You know, I didn't know that different sizes gave you different flavors and that the same exact tobacco from the same country put in a different ratio changes it dramatically. I didn't know any of that stuff. Um, fell in love. Then I started traveling. I went, you know, to see factories in Honduras, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic. That was it. Then I was hooked. Then I started smoking. <laughs> we all know how this turned out. All came out from there. <laughs> okay, great. That's awesome. And by the way, my origins are very similar. I hung around cigar lounges for about a year before I actually lit up a cigar and smoked. And I was in New York smoking uh, with a lot of my buddies, well not smoking I should say, but hanging out in the cigar lounges while they were smoking. Eh, I'm not going to smoke, I'm not a smoker, right? Then I moved to North Carolina for my job in 2008 and I missed being in the lounges. So I started going to the lounges and then I started lighting up because I just couldn't sit there by myself. And, and it changes the experience. And it changes it, I was hooked yeah. after that, so I can relate exactly. to that as well. So you want to transition into yeah, let's La talk, Serena brand? Yeah, let's talk a little about La Serena. Tell me how the name came about. The name was the last part of the entire operation. We had our blend ready. Um, we had played around with a few different names. I didn't. I didn't really want it to be called Ariel or anything. Right. You know, my name. I didn't think I'm, I wasn't at that point in the right. industry. I don't, still, still don't think I am. But I wanted it to, have, to relate to me. I wanted it to be something fun and exciting. And I was sitting at Club Macanudo. There was about seven to ten guys sitting in a circle. Everyone was speaking Spanish around me. So I'm like, hmm. Okay, I look at the guy next to me, and I'm like, hey, how do you say mermaid in Spanish? And he's like, la sirena. And he, you know, turns and finishes his conversation, and I was like, yep, that's it. That's took a cocktail napkin, wrote la sirena, passed it to Renee, and he said, yep, passed it to Nestor. Nice. That's it. 
that's how we got our name. Okay, so how did the collaboration with My Father's Cigars, how did that come about? We wanted a full-bodied, full-flavored cigar. Um, we were definitely, we were, you know, having it more in Nicaraguan, Dominican. When, once we decided we wanted Nicaraguan, who else can you go to besides, you know, Don Pepin or Javi right. Garcia to make the best full-flavored, you know, full-bodied full body Nicaraguan steak. cigar? That's a great cigar. So tell me a little bit, what was it like working with the Garcias? With Jaime and, um, the it's people. amazing working with them. Um, my Spanish is not so great. So no, so we just do a lot of hugging, a lot of, you know, head nodding. Um, obviously, I became very close with Yanni. You know, I love other women in the industry. So right. it's, super, you know, it's super fun to have that sort of. And I actually really have the utmost respect for them and what they do. So working with, you know, people that you look up to, right. it's, it's an amazing experience. How many... Um have a large number of blends to evaluate or you know what, what was that like going through the process with it? this is this is like one of my favorite stories um, we had I had a flight scheduled to Nicaragua they sent us a few sample blends so we could have a starting point oh I like this I didn't like this I like this um, smoked the first one it was good I got you know okay we like this we don't like this second one okay eh, whatever third one we smoked you know me Renee that was part of this. We all looked at each other and we were like, that's our that's our cigar. Like, cancel our trip to Nicaragua, <laughs> put it in production. Like, everyone said that you don't pick a blend, you don't pick a cigar in three blends. It doesn't work like that. And the fact that we found, like, they blended us a winner on our third cigar third. was incredible. Um, you know, I, I wanted to take more of a part in picking a blend, but when you, when you have the right cigar, it you stands don't, don't on mess its, it stands it. on its own. So that's that's an interesting story. I'm glad to share that. With you. So the line, in my opinion, the line's been highly successful. I mean, this has just been. When I first had this cigar, I pulled him up. I was in Chicago and I tried this cigar. I said, "You have to try this cigar. It's a full flavor, full body, full strength cigar like I hadn't had before." And you know, a lot of folks still want full body, full strength smoke, cigar smokers. Why do you think this line's been so successful? I think it's. I think it has more flavor than it does strength. It's definitely, you know, medium plus, medium to full strength wise, but it's the flavor that's really, you know, kind of captivating. And I think people that are slightly hesitant going towards, you know, the word strong, right. when you explain to them, this isn't like, it's not gonna make you sick or knock you, knock you down. It's just, it has so many flavors in it that the strength just kind of balances equally. I think that's kind of why. And another thing, folk uniquely did was, when I was in Chicago, I had this cigar, but I came back east, and it was February 2010, I had it, 2011, I had it in Chicago, I came back east, I couldn't find it, and what I started to learn just from various folks is that you guys were doing a um, slow, gradual, geographic rollout, why don't you talk a little about that, because that was kind of unique. We wanted to kind of build up the hype, um, we also, you know, we did something different when we had, in the, sh at the show in New Orleans, you know, before, we gave unbanded samples, just to kind of get people talking about it. Right. That was something, you know, I think a lot of people hadn't seen before. And we wanted to continue with that, get people excited. You know, it's a new cigar. We want we want this brand to be long lasting, you know, we want we wanted to build build it up, build up the hype. So what we did is we had a um, our launch in Chicago. A month later we did it in Miami. We brought it to New York a month later. And then January of two thousand twelve Hit the stores across, you know, across the U.S. Across the U.S. Excellent. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Um, can we transition a little bit from La Serena today to La Serena future? Tell us a little bit about where you're going and what we can expect here in the near future. I'm really excited about this. Um, like I said, we weren't sure if originally we wanted to do Nicaraguan or Dominican. Now we're like, why not do both? Okay. So, right. Who else are we going to work with in Dominican besides Guillermo Leon, Guillermo Leon right. who makes, you know, incredible, Phenomenal fabulous cigars. cigars that, you know, you're always going to, the quality is always amazing, you know, you know what you're going to get. And I thought it's time for something a little bit more medium. There are, like you said, there are a lot of people who aren't ready for, you know, full bodied cigars yet. And I wanted something just a little different. So when I do an event or I meet someone in a shop, I can say, oh, you, you prefer a little bit more medium, medium to full? Here, try this one. So we're coming out with that. 
hopefully, you know, this summer. And uh, it's going to be called the Merlion. It's going to be three sizes. Um, you don't have to worry, the band will definitely not disappoint. Okay. It will be equally as gorgeous as the original La Serena band. Which is what we're smoking here, by the way. Thank you. I do appreciate it. One thing I love about what actually what you did with the band is I love the big band. Actually, I was a huge fan of it. It was just, in my opinion, groundbreaking. But I love how you put the second band on here as well. Because what happens is you do have to take the band off at some point. But what I like is with that second band, it, the cigar still has its identity. And it's, it was just a great idea. And I know the first release didn't have it, and then it was around last summer where, you, where that was added. That was consumer feedback. I. You know, my email address, my Twitter, my Facebook, I run all of that. And I'm, I was serious when I, you know, gave it out the first time and I said, tell me what you think. And the response to the band was so mixed. People loved it, but they hated that they could take it off too soon. So we were like, what can we, we weren't, we didn't, we're not giving up the band. We right. loved the band. Right. But what can we do to balance that out? And, you know, Jason in the office, he's like, what if we just do a second band? And at first we were going to do, we were hiding the second band underneath. So people were like, ooh. I feel like a lucky winner, you know, a little surprise. Right. Um, and then it was still a little bit too low, so we moved it up. But people have really, really appreciated it, especially the fact that it came from their ideas. Right. So I think that was cool. The La Serena A was actually, um, I had it at your dad's store. That was where I first had it. And it was a nice surprise when I actually had pulled off the uh, the big band. And I said, hmm, there's, a, there's a smaller band there. So it was actually, I was a nice little surprise, and I was glad it extended to the rest of the uh, line. Those were the first ones that we did it on. Um, because that when those came out for my birthday, that's when the idea happened, and then since then we've been rolling them out with the second band. And it's a mix of old school and new school. So the the, the smaller band uh, is that old kind of an older old feel to it, and then yeah. you have this modern band, which I just love. So it brings the best of both worlds there. I want to transition a little bit to Miami Cigars and talk a little bit about your uh, life as brand ambassador slash brand manager for a line carried by Nestor in Miami. It's the coolest job in the entire world. Um, I thought my dad had the coolest job getting to hang out in a cigar shop and smoke all day. I get to hang out in cigar shops across the country and That's smoke. Country. And a mobile lounge now. And a mobile yeah. lounge now. Event right? cigars, mobile lounge. Exactly. Event cigars, mobile lounge. This is definitely Charlie. a first for me. Right. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. And I get to meet. I get to meet people. I get to meet cigar smokers who love it as much as I do and make very you know strong relationships with them. Right. You know, we met on Twitter. Exactly. We, we became friends through social network and now, you know, we're hanging out in a mobile cigar lounge together. It's just the Pretty coolest cool. thing in the world. Yeah. We've got a lot of respect for Nestor and Guillermo as well and, and Jason and the people that Miami surrounds themselves with. I mean, our rep here, uh, Matt, is just a great guy as well. So I just wanted to get your, your take on, you know, coming in there and working with them. It seems like it's one of the coolest jobs. Oh, it is. And, and you become family, you know. I, Nestor, I worked for a lot of different companies when I was doing New York you know, event thing. Right. And I love I love every company I've worked for. I really appreciate everyone in the industry, but Nestor and Renee, they were the first ones to hire me and it really just felt so fitting when we were starting a project like La Serena to work with, you know, the guys that brought me into it. And and they really are family now. Nice. And I mean the reps, the guy, the girls in the office, like I, I can't wait, you know, the, I get to see them a lot, but the you know, the two or three times a year when we're all together in one place, it's like my favorite it's like Christmas. Nice. And Miami Cigars is uniquely positioned in that you do distribute La Aurora, but now you're coming out with your own brands as well. And I think that's kind of a unique thing that Miami Cigars brings to the table. A lot of other companies aren't doing. Yeah, that was, I thought it was great. At first, you, you know, Nestor just distributed other lines, and then right. I guess he thought, why not me? Right, right. You know, started working together with also the Garcias and came out with amazing blends. Exactly. Built a whole portfolio of, you know, great cigars. His brand reserves for them. Yeah. So how do you like North Carolina so far? I, I understand it's your first time you've been in North Carolina? Yes. Well, I think I might have been here once when I was younger, but this is my first time in Charlotte. And, you know, I messed up my flight and got here a day early, so I had, you know, an extra an extra day and night on the town, which nice. was wonderful. Good. I really had such an amazing time, and the weather's perfect, so I couldn't have asked for it. All right, so you and I are both New Yorkers, and now you've seen Charlotte for the first time. What are your impressions? Because I, I actually love it down here. Yeah, I, th I thought it was really cool. Um, it's so fun. I'm still, you know, to me a city is like where you can walk everywhere, and it's blocks of avenues, so going to a new city, it always changes my mind a little bit. 
it's a little different when you can walk from one end of downtown to the other very quickly. Absolutely. I mean, it does, it does take a little bit of an adjustment, but it's just a, and it's just a great cigar community you'll, you'll have down here. The cigar smokers are all real close and they're all real passionate about uh, cigars. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm excited to spend more time here and, you know, meet all more people that I've been talking to and stuff. I like, I like North Carolina. Excellent, excellent. And I know you folks are heading up to Raleigh tomorrow? We're going to Raleigh tomorrow and then finishing our tour in Greensboro. Okay, good. And I'll get home just in time for Mother's Day. Right, perfect. Excellent. We really do appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today, Ariel. Well, thank you guys really for having me. This is awesome. Thank you, too. It's meant a lot. Um, once again, we want to thank Outland Cigars. Um, Outland Cigars, Valentine location. We've got a great event tonight with Miami Cigars and the lovely Ariel for La Serena. Uh, it starts at 6 o'clock tonight for the public, so come on down. And also want to say a big shout out to uh, Event Cigars, which is the big mobile cigar lounge and uh, retail humidor. So check it out, look online, and uh, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you very Appreciate much, guys. Thank you, Ariel.